Hey guys, I am so excited because I'm finally doing this collaboration project with Fashionista Nadira and we decided to do a DIY on how to make these really cute jumpsuits. So right now on the screen I'm going to show you one of the jumpsuits she made for one of her DIYs. So yeah, she made this really cute jumpsuit with this green floor print fabric and I really like the outcome of how it came out. So what I'm gonna do is leave a link to her channel at the bottom in the description bar. So make sure you check out her channel and make sure you also check out her other social network. So I hope you guys enjoy my tutorial on how to make this halter jumpsuit. So for this tutorial, you do need a pair of pants and a shirt. And I did pick some old pants and as you can see, they do have some paint on it. And then I have this old t-shirt. Now, you definitely want to make sure that the t-shirt is about the same width as the waist part of the pants that you're using. And if not, you can just trace that shirt on pattern paper and make um, minor adjustments as far as the width. So what I'm going to do is use my pants as a pattern piece and I'm going to cut it out on my fabric and I'm going to show you guys how to do the top for this halter jumpsuit. So I'm cutting it out on the fold. If you wanted a seam here then you wouldn't cut it out on the fold but I'm doing a seamless side jumpsuit so it won't have no seam here but it will have a seam in the crouch so area. So as for the top of the jumpsuit it's pretty much the same process as my halter summer dress tutorial which I'll leave a link at the bottom if you haven't seen the tutorial yet. So all I'm doing here is folding my top sleeves at an angle and it should look something like this with the top sleeve coming towards each other at an angle and you kind of get that halter look and it should look like this while it's folded in half and I'm going to place this fabric on the fold of my fabric and cut out one piece. So I already cut out the front part and it should be one piece like this. Now for the bottom, well the back of the halter part, you just want to take where it's at at an angle right here and just fold that over like that and this is going to be your back part for the halter top part of your jumpsuit so you just want to place this side on the fold and just cut out one piece so the last piece for this halter jumpsuit would be to have a halter string and my halter string is probably about two and a half inches wide and perhaps 30 inches long or not more. And all I'm gonna do is just fold it in half and sew along the edge here. And then I'm gonna flip it inside out and that will be my halter string for the jumpsuit. All right, so for the pants part, all you need to do is make sure that you have this part pinned along the side for both pants and then you're just going to sew along that edge there and then what we're going to do is we're going to connect this crouch area together and I'm going to show you guys how to do that and once you finish sewing your pants you just flip it inside out and it should look like this and all we're going to do here is pin the crouch area together. So I'm just taking my pants here and I'm pinning them at the crouch area where the seam meets in the middle. And then from here all you want to do is just pin it all the way around. So this is the middle seam right here where the pants meet in that middle seam area. And from there on out, I just have the rest of the sides pinned. And all you want to do is sew along this edge all the way down. And when you do, you just kind of flip it out and you can kind of see how the pants will look after you're done. Now it's time for us to start working on our halter part of our jumpsuit. So right here I have the front, even though it needs to be ironed, I have the front piece for my halter jumpsuit. And right now I'm just putting right sides together and I'm going to take the back portion and lay that on top. And then I'm going to sew along the so edge once here. Once you have sewed everything, this is how your jumpsuit should look. 
and I'm just going to connect the top with the pants. For the top, all you want to do is flip it inside out, just like this. Place it upside down and put the pants right through it. And you also want to sew all the way around. And when So once you flip it inside out, it should look something like this. And make sure that you hem the bottom area of the pants legs and also you want to make sure that you hem all the way around the arm area to the back of the halter top and then also make sure that if you haven't already make sure to um, hem this part as well so that you're able to put your halter string in and if you don't want to use a halter string you can use a necklace like I did right here okay. 